welcome to another video of uh, SVSR project so in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about Hall effect sensors uh, why this is necessary is uh, this small chip right there is the Hall effect sensor I uh, don't know if you can see right there that that small chip yeah this one this is the Hall effect sensor now what does this Hall effect sensor mean is that uh, when there is a change in magnetic field near the sensor this sensor senses it and uh, sends the value back to the uh, EON board. Uh, now uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, first of all the Hall effect sensor which is there uh, it is an active uh, high sensor so by default it outputs a 1 and as soon as uh, we uh, take the south pole of the magnet near the sensor the output should turn 0. So right now I have just hooked up this uh, to the uh, uh, Arduino unit to test the sensor. I will cover why uh, I want a Hall effect sensor later. Uh, let's just see a sm small demo of uh, uh, how, how it works. So uh, the setup is pretty simple. I have a 3.3 volts uh, hooked up uh, through this orange wire. This yellow wire is ground and this white wire is the uh, signal which is going through the sensor. I have connected a 10k uh, uh, pull up resistor from the uh, VCC to B out so basically just pulling the uh, line up. Now uh, here is a small uh, pretty strong neodymium magnet. Uh, now where I found this was uh, pretty simple I just found it, uh, found it in one of those uh, CD-ROM uh, uh, drives so if you rip apart one of those uh, right beneath the lens assembly there are two of these uh, beauty which you can actually get. So uh, this I have marked it as a south pole so you know that uh, this is the south pole which has to go to the magnet and I'll just go ahead and get a nail and stick it stuck good and as we can go ahead and see on the screen it's continuously outputting a 1 now uh, it's, it's kind of difficult let me focus this sensor uh, in between so as soon as go ahead and take the sensor near this guy the, that should output a zero pretty neat huh so um, now talking about uh, why exactly do I need this Hall effect sensor now uh, this Hall effect sensor why I need this I'm gonna hook this Hall effect sensor into one of my cycles rims which holds the tire frame which holds the tire and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this small uh, magnet to one of the spokes of the tire now I know the uh, length from the center uh, basically the radius uh, where I'm going to connect this particular magnet and uh, from there I can go ahead and find out the exact amount of uh, so as soon as it hits a uh, uh, zero there so once this passes uh, there will be a zero which will be generated here that will go ahead and interrupt right inside my microcontroller and my microcontroller would know that there is one complete revolution of that uh, tire so I know the distance covered uh, using this simple mechanism now uh, before this I had tried the same with the read switches the problem with read switches is that they are very slow like if I go ahead and do something like this the read switch won't probably detect it but once I go ahead and stick something like this the read switch will probably detect it so if you guys want I can go ahead and do uh, go ahead and uh, record that video and uh, upload that also just for fun I've already done that and uh, that's not uh, what's gonna work here so hope you found this video a bit informative and uh, see you in the next vlog